first down, they hand off to Marlon Mack. Huge hole, 50-yard line. He's at the 40, still going near sideline. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. Touchdown, I-N-D-Y. And again, it's picked off. It's Darius Leonard. Leonard with a second INT, and he's streaking down the near sideline. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20. He's going to go. A pick six for the Maniac. Horseshoe is back, baby. The horseshoe is back. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the injury situation going into week one. Now, if you're the Indianapolis Colts, and you're the Jacksonville Jaguars, you are very happy with these injury reports, guys. Only one player from each team is actually designated to be out for this game. And guys, this is one of the best injury reports that I've seen for Indianapolis in a long time. I mean, it is very, very, uh, I, it is very good here. I, I really like what I'm seeing here with this injury report. Not a whole lot to really talk about with this one. So thankfully, it's unfortunate. I don't have a lot to talk with you guys about. But at the same time, I am fortunate that I don't have much to talk to you guys to talk, have you, for you guys to talk about for this specific topic. Because obviously, we want all of our guys to remain as healthy as they can. But let's get into some of the uh, injuries that people were wondering about uh, this week. And let's talk about them. So first one that we want to talk about is Matthew Adams, okay? He had an ankle injury that's been lingering for a while. He is questionable for the game, but he was limited in Wednesday, Thursday's practice and had a full practice today, Friday. And uh, this video will probably be up Saturday, so this is Friday's report. But this is the report right after it came out. So he's questionable for the game, but you know we may not see a ton of Matthew Adams anyway. But nonetheless, he is questionable, but he could probably play if needed. Julian Blackman, a knee injury. He uh, obviously with his Achilles that was going on from his rehab. He was a limited participant in practice all week. He will be out. Uh, Cody and I have said this for a while now. Uh, we thought that was what was going to happen. Um, no, no sense in trying to. Uh, no sense in trying to make things any more complicated with Julian Blackman than what you needed to be. So obviously Julian Blackman is going to be out for this game. So we won't see much of him at all. Probably won't see him for a while for the first couple uh the first couple weeks. So be sure to just worry about that one. And then we have Anthony Costanzo and Ryan Kelly. Everyone was wondering whether or not they'd play they were limited participants both Wednesday and Thursday, and they both did not practice today. Uh, Costanzo with the oblique injury and Kelly with the knee injury, but they were both resting today. So uh, Frank Reich has concluded they will be available for the game this Sunday. So that's great news. We are going to keep those guys. Desmond Patman was a full participant in Thursday and Friday's practice, so he is available if needed. Quentin Nelson, obviously we were hearing about the back problem that kept him out of practice Thursday, but he was a full participant in practice today. So they said that Quentin Nelson is also ready to go. So the offensive line for the Indianapolis Colts is perfectly healthy and ready to go for week one. Justin Houston did not practice again today. Danico Autry did not practice today. And T.Y. Hilton did not practice today. But Justin Houston was out due to a calf on Thursday. He was a limited participant, but he was having a rest day today as well. He's expected to be ready to go. Danico Autry and T.Y. Hilton both did not practice today due to rest. So, guys, that's the injury report. Only one guy out for uh, Julian Blackman being out and Matthew Adams being questionable. Everyone else is ready to go. So that is your injury report, guys. Great news on the Colts front. Good luck for the Colts this weekend. I'm really hoping for a 1-0 victory, man. Really hoping that this injury report doesn't get more exclusive as well. So thank you guys for listening. And as always, go Colts.